look toward the hill. You know he will never leave you, never forsake you. So I need you to reset yourself. He's, he, he's already delivered you. He's, he's already set you on high. You're just feeling kind of low, but that's okay. Reset your love. And he's setting you on high. He's going to bless you. The blessing has already been stored up for you, and it's in Christ Jesus. But you can't let the enemy, because it's been told that we have an adversary. His, he has a different agenda from God. God wants you to an expected end that he has already set. But there's a road that, uh, that the enemy keeps setting roadblocks, and you keep taking every one. Yes. But not anymore this season. You will not look to the left. You will not look to the right. But you will look on the on the straight and narrow road. Yes. And you will never, never, he will never leave you. It's not a feeling. Yes. It's about what you know. Yes. Because you had known him. Yes. Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance. And the no. The no. When I think about that word, I just think about um, how how the Lord knows us, how he how he knew us, the yeah. intimacy of just knowing that we can have a blessed assurance in knowing that he cares, knowing yeah. that he knows our name, yeah. knowing that he has called and chosen us, knowing that he forgives us and yeah. he's going to be there right right yeah. there for us. Yeah. It's just a blessed it's a blessed assurance that I just think about and I just, you know, I kind of like just live in knowing that God knows me. He yes. knows my name. Yes. And blessings on blessings on blessings comes as a consequence of us knowing this name. Now, for those of you that was on social media and we blinked out on you, go again. I've already rebooted, rebooted the uh, social media. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Amen. Now, I want to I want to pick up. I want to pick up in Psalms 91. Uh, I, I was teaching this on Monday. Interesting, interesting, interesting. How uh, if if the key to Psalms, I said this on, and reason why I'm recapping this is because I want to show you a different narrative. Uh, Psalms has no heading, so we, most of the time we think it's David's perspective, but we know Psalms 91 because the rule to, to reading Psalms and understand who the author of the particular chapter is, you go to the prior chapter and see whose authorship it's on it. And so we discovered that Psalms 91 is the Moses narrative. Yes. And so now we see different things. We, don't, we take Goliath out, and now, now we put the wilderness experience yeah, in. Yeah. And so that, that creates a whole different dynamic when we're reading the text. And so I don't want to go back over the whole thing, but I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me. Now, social media, you can go ahead and share me again. Go back and get about, since it was 50 last time, you're going to have to double that and go to 100 this time. Amen. Get 100 people, Amen. 100 of your friends in the house. Amen. Because I'm going to teach, uh, I'm going to open up something about this blessed assurance. And I need you to see this. I need you to see this. I need you to understand this because God is good. Blessed assurance, I want to start at verse number three. I want you to look at this perspective again. I want you to notice this. This season of the iffy season, iffy season. Now, now let, me, let me share something about faith walking. Faith walking, you can be an expert in what you was mm -hmm. in, or you can be a novice in what is new. Okay. Amen. <laughs> God, I think God wants you to be a novice in what is new. And so a novice means that the first few actions or prompts are going to be kind of difficult for you to. But God is always expecting us to do things that we don't know how to do. Amen. It's called faith, Amen. trust in him. And so he calls up on and say, hey, do something that you've never done. Be. And so for those of you that are feeling like you're challenged with things that you know nothing about, you're probably in a good place. Yes. He wants you to have faith enough that something's going to come alive in you. There's something in you that you won't allow to uh, come alive because you haven't been challenged on the level you're supposed to be challenged on. I always say this. I always say this. That a king size anointing will only be awakened when a king size challenge is issued and accepted. Come on. So mm -hmm. get ready for the king size stuff to happen. Now, I want to read it. I want to read it verse 3. I want to unpack verse 3. I need y'all to see this. I need you to see this. Call your friends. Call your neighbors. Call everybody in the house. Now, I want you to see this verse 3. This is Psalms 91 verse number 3. It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Snare of the fowler. So many times we read scripture and, and didn't even, what is snare? What is filer? What is that? We never even thought about it. So surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the filer and from the noisome pestilence. Mm -hmm. Noisome pestilence. 
pestilence. Now watch this. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare. Now, first we must define what a filer is. Now, here's what a filer is. A filer is a master trapper. Hmm. Out. He's a hunter. He traps. Mm. He's he he he's good at it. You know, sometimes you watch some movies of someone being hid in the uh, uh, lost in the in the wilderness or uh, mountains. They go find this uh, master, a person mm. that knows the area, and Tracking he knows because he, he's a hunter and he's been all through the 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 trails, and so he's got he knows it like the back of yeah. his hand. So a a a filer is a master trapper. He knows he's got traps traps set out there and he knows how to get back to them because he knows the area with the with the like the back of his hand. Mm-hmm. Now that's what we are navigating through a world that we're in but we're not of. Amen. And so we got a master trapper out there yeah. that's got traps set. And yeah. so watch what the text says. I need you to see the picture. It says, "Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the filer mm-hmm. and from the noisome Pestilence. Now, here's this master trapper called the enemy, called Satan. He's got traps set. He's a, he's a, he's a master at this. He's a master. He knows the traps to set. Now, here here's what the traps look like initially. It's when the bird. Now, this in this particular indicate a uh, moment. It's talking about a a filer that traps birds. Mm-hmm. Now, watch this. And what the bird does, he have to come and land. <laughs> in in the territory that Where he's really not from. familiar yeah, with, because yeah. he's not a land, he's an air. Yeah. Okay. And so now there's people that's been flying high, and now you're landing because a bird only comes down because he's hungry. Mm-hmm. Watch it now. You got you got look at this. And so you flying high, but you've gotten hungry. Mm-hmm. And so you had to come down. You had to come. Now you ground it. Because you're hungry. Mm. Oh, oh, you just run out of energy. Right. Okay. <laughs> and so now you got to come down and get something to eat. We have those seasons that we need to be grounded to eat. Yeah. And we got to understand all this because I was flying high and now I'm grounded. Well, you ran out of energy. Now you need to eat. But there's a master trapper that's waiting for you to get in the territory that is unfamiliar mm-hmm. so that he can set one of the traps because you're hungry. First, you're hungry seeking food. Yeah. And so now I'm just I'm careless because I'm hungry. Mm. I can't think right mm. when I when I'm hungry. It's, it's interesting. Interesting. Before Jesus would preach, he would always feed them. Because mm-hmm. when you're hungry, you don't you ain't got my attention. Yeah, you got yeah. my stomach is growling. Uh, and so now, the 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 the, the filer is is catching us in the times that we are vulnerable because we're hungry. I've been flying high, and now I've got to land to get something to eat. Now, number two, uh, uh, the filer always work in secret. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's why he wants these vulnerable moments to be secretive moments because he wants you by himself so he can tell you things that you're unfamiliar with because you're not accustomed to being in this space. Yea, though I walk through yes. the valley. Mm. He knows. He knows that you're in unfamiliar. Somebody need to hear this. So he 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 works in secret. Uh he 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 always always changes his trapping methods. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Then you're familiar with that trap. So let me switch it up. Let me give it a new picture. Let me give it a, a new different form. backdrop. Yeah. <laughs> a new hat. Yeah. Let me give it a new person. Yeah. So so he he's a master. He says, Oh, you become familiar with that route. Let me give you something else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a master at, and I'm very patient. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait. Mm. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I can lie and wait several, several days. Now, here's his most masterful moment. Masterful moment. When you get to flying again, watch this, I'm, I'm lunching again, and now I'm supposed to have pleasure since I've been down so long. I I owe this to myself. Mm. <laughs> That's a master fowler. Listen to me. That's a master. I owe this to myself. I'm going out tonight. <laughs> Just the phrase. Yeah. yeah. Shine the light. Yeah. I'm going out I'm tonight. Going out to, I'm going to have me some fun. Because I oh, it's Valentine's yeah. Day. <laughs> we I, only got one light to I live. I only got one light to and live. I've been good for a long time. For a long time. <laughs> I owe this to myself. Come on. Just this once, right? That's the master file. Now, watch this. And, and so now he says, pleasure and profit. This is going to bring you much gain. And so you say, well, I am a child of God, and he does want me to be profit. Yeah. He wants me to profit in my life. He wants and me so to And so he's fun. a master. 
Get this, he's a master, and he and he turns up the heat on Valentine's Day. <laughs> he comes, a hey, Valentine's Day is a he got days yeah. just like we got special days of celebration. He's dressing he, up, he got special days of trapping. It's a great day to entrap you because he's not just thinking about this day. He wants this day to affect you for several days Amen. to come. Amen. So now text says again, let's watch it. It says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the filer, the trapper, the one that want to trap you into something, make you do something that is not profitable to your life. And the noisy pestilence, the thing that constantly coming after you, that's mm. constantly nagging, that's constant, Agitate. that's constant, constant. Constant he, uh, consistency, yeah. consistency, Aggravating. consistency. Man, this this thing. Now watch this. I want to show you this. I want to show you this. But 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 here's what this text, this word pestilence, mean in this particular text. I need you to see this by definition. Now hear me now. Hear me now. Hear me now. Watch this. It's a contagious or infectious epidemic disease that is viral and devastating. We need to hear this. We need to hear this. Now, the Philo is trying to trap us in a mindset to think that we have no security against what he's trying to issue. Yes. He's trying to tell us, you have no security. This is something that God has sent. Amen. He's going to teach the people something. This is going to bring a, a lot of people to church. To humble them. Are you serious? Now, I think Jeremiah 31, verse number three. God says, I've been saying it, and I'm going to continue to say it. I'm not changing what I'm saying Come about on. you. Come With on. With love and kindness have I drawn. drawn thee. Fear tactics don't work. No fear tactics. Amen. No disease. No, no. Uh, 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 please hear me. Sickness is got, not God's method of teaching. Come on now. He's, you got the Holy Spirit. Ain't that what John 16 says? The Holy Spirit teaches me. It's not cancer. Amen. It's not an accident. Amen. Come on. Come on. It's, not, it's none of those things. Holy Spirit is teacher. Holy Spirit. With loving kindness have I drawn thee. Any other drawing method is called a breach of God's contract. God. It doesn't yeah. last. Come on. So now surely he shall deliver you from the ignorance that the filers have taught you. Mm. Mm. This takes a different perspective. Surely he won't let the, the, the bad doctrine in this season cause you to be fearful when, you, when he knows that he is your only hope. And mm -hmm. so now we are causing people. To come and try to instigate or, or, or engage God with the wrong heart. Right. There's right. a way that you must enter in with specifics. The goodness he, of God leadeth thee. He never said you're going to come in with fear. Mm. It, there's a way that you enter God's altar in sanctuary. Amen. God has not given us the spirit of Amen. fear. Amen. <laughs> We need to hear this. Amen. There's a way that you enter into his courts. There's a way. If you're not entering in. With the proper attitude, all through scripture, literally, kings had a problem with people entering into their courts with the wrong attitude. Without being summoned. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's when Nehemiah, when he was, he, the, he, the, the king said, hold on. Yeah. You got a problem. Yes. And, and, and I know how this go. If I got people around me that's got problems. I don't need you around me. And so how is it that we believe that the Lord wants us to come in with this, with this problem? He mm. says, no, 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 no. Listen, he says, I don't mind you coming to me with your problem if you're coming for me to solve it. Yeah. But if you're coming and thinking that this is the way you get my attention, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a mm. problem there. Or, or this is the way you enter into my courts. It's difficult to come in with praise and worship and you scared. Amen. That ain't, that that's that's strange fire yeah. now. Or ungrateful. Ungrateful. That's strange. That's strange fire. And so he says. He says. Surely. Now. 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 We got to look at this because these people are in transit. They're leaving bondage, going into the place called promise, and they are encountering things like we do in our journey from bondage to uh, the blessing. We encounter things, and he says you got to properly process these because you're going to encounter strange things, and all things work together for good. So I can't have this strange thing making you think strangely. Amen. I got to let you see that I'm, I'm going to protect you if you allow me from the snare Amen. that is that has caught you up. It looks so, so wonderful. But this is the filer, the master trapper trapping you in the morning. And then and then he says from the noisome pestilence, these diseases that, 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 that the men of God are saying these things are taking over. No, <laughs> they Excuse taking over. you, sir. They taking over. Really? 
No, the spirit of God is taking over. Amen. And we got only the preaching. With my eye. And yes, and only, only, only will I see this with yeah. my eyes. If I'm not on social media, I probably won't even see it. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Now let's go to verse number four. Verse number four. Verse number four says this He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. buckler. Now, 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 now look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So he, he tells this to Israel. I think it's Matthew chapter 23. He says, Oh, how I would cover you as a, as a hen would cover her. Mm. But you would it not. Beautiful. Mm. Why, why wouldn't you let me do this? Because you were taught that I wouldn't desire to. No, I see you. I see what you've done. I'm here, your protector. I'm, I want to cover you. Yeah. You're you try, you trying to find fig leaves for yourself. I never mm. told you you had to provide for yourself. Amen. I know you've done something wrong. I Amen. got that. Amen. But if I say I am your supplier, I am your supplier. I don't run out on you because, listen, he said, oh, how I would have covered you. But you got a free will. I'm not going to force myself on you. Please hear me, people. I'm not going to force myself on you. I, I, I desire to be your God. I desire to cover you. I desire to make things happen in your life. Now, watch it. Let me read it again because I need to see this. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. <sighs> his, watch this. His what? His truth. His truth. Truth shall make. Yes. Now, I got to show you this. I got to show you this because this is interesting. His truth shall be what thou shield, shield and, and, buckler. and buckler. Now, now watch this. We have we 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 haven't painted the picture properly of the shield and the buckler. Now watch this. Now watch this. Now the Bible suggests that we should put on the whole, whole armor, armor of God, okay. all of God's armor. Right mm -hmm. now, look at this. Look at this. When you look at the whole armor, of God. Now you've seen pictures of, of people, uh, mighty warriors going to battle. They are covered with armor completely, mm -hmm. head to toe. Now it's interesting that the text says, "Put on the whole armor of who God." He didn't say put on the armor that God made for you. Amen. He says, "No, put on God's specific armor." Amen. Put on God. Yeah. Because <laughs> when the enemy sees God's armor, he automatically bow down. Mm. <laughs> he said, so put on God's armor, not yeah. not your armor, not something that somebody given you. It says, go and ask God for His armor. I need your armor on me, because when the enemy looks at me, I need him to recognize Amen. God, wow. and he does, and he bows. Yes, he bows Get down. down. He bows down. So now that's the body suit. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. It says, His truth, truth shall be your shield, shield. and. Mm -hmm. Buckler. Buckler. Now watch this. Look at the picture. Look at the picture of David and Goliath, right? Mm -hmm. So 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 uh, Goliath had a shield bearer. Yeah. That means that I got an armor suit on, but before you get to the armor, you're gonna have to go through the shield. Mm -hmm. Look at what the text said. The text says his truth shall be the shield before the enemy can even get to the buckler, mm. which is the full armor suit. Come on. Right? <laughs> you got to go through all of this Amen. before you can even get to this. Amen. Just in case you penetrate the outer, Amen. you still got to deal with the inner. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Before you get through to the inner, you got to deal with the outer. Great you might, you're probably not even going to get through the outer force field. Amen. But just in case you do. You still got to deal with the inner. So he says his truth. Watch how powerful God word, God's word is. It says the truth of God is your shield, your outer, and your buckler, the inner. It protects everywhere you go, inside and out. You are covered. You have full coverage, covered. assurance. Yeah. Now, why, did it, why, do that, why do we call it assurance? Because it's just as assured as the word of God is sure. He holds his word. <laughs> so it's a sure. So now we got these great full coverage insurance policies, mm. and we think about how I got real sad assistance. I've got uh, injury up to X amount of dollars. I got I got everything covered. God says it don't even compare to Amen. His assurance. Mm. <laughs> he got the right now and the thereafter. All of it's covered. It's assurance when you come into the truth, the truth of revelation. He says it's going to be your shield. And your buckler. buckler. Even, even he's got you protected outside before mm. anything could get to you. And also, he's got you covered. Your whole body is covered with truth. Now, this is, this is God's personal. Listen to me. This is God's personal care. This is God's personal. Listen, a hen, 
You know, a hen, if you, they'll run from you most of the time. Mm-hmm. But if you get close to one of them bitties, mm-hmm. they start pecking. <laughs> he says, if somebody mess with you, I'm going to start pecking. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I need you to see what God is saying. So now it says his truth. Truth. Here's the problem. We have been void of truth. Hmm. Present truth. Present truth. There's nothing wrong with the word of God. It's how it's been presented. Yes. So many people are going against the word of God. Listen to me. I'm going to say this. I need to take a, a break and say this. I am not ashamed Come on. of the gospel. Of this gospel. I am not ashamed. Man. It is my life. Amen. I am not ashamed I of the gospel. I ride and die for this. Of Jesus Amen. Christ. Mm. We, 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 we're compromising because people have come to different conclusions. Well, I'm not compromising. Come on. Amen. I'm not ashamed of me neither, what the, the Lord has done for me and what he's doing. Amen. I'm, I'm blood washed. Amen. I believe in living a holy life. Amen. Thank God for that, man. Amen. Thank Character. God. Uh, you are not going to talk me out of it. Amen. You're not going to tell me that that's dated and ain't nobody doing it. Everybody is doing this. I don't care what everybody is doing. I know what he told me to do. Come on. All souls are mine. Don't make the mistake because you see somebody that you admire now living halfway. And now since they doing it and they, they got success that I always dreamed of. The enemy is smart enough. The filer is smart enough to give somebody that you admire some success just to draw you into it. When God told you, don't you dare touch that. Don't you dare touch that. Don't you dare go over that. I am not ashamed. Amen. For this is the power of God unto salvation. That's the only way we get Amen. it is that we not be ashamed Amen. of this gospel of Jesus Christ. He, I wrote a post yesterday in the 14th chapter. He says, I am the way, the, the truth, truth still. and the life. The only way. No man coming to the Father. I don't care how many doors you say it is. There's only one, one door, door to the Father. Amen. And that's through his son, Jesus Amen. Christ. I don't care how many times he's been distorted in your mind by somebody that you listen to. He mm. is the Come only. On. Amen. Number one. We're watching him too close. He's wanting. the only way to God. Amen. He says, if you pray anything in my name, I'll do it. For I'll you. do it. And I, and when, when, when I, I, I'm just taking a step out because I got to say this. And when I thought about it, I remembered the song. In Sunday school as a little boy, Jesus is the answer yeah. for the world today. Above him, there's no other. Jesus is, is the way. way. That's Amen. the answer to the problem. That's why the enemy is coming against with all this erroneous stuff from people that you trusted that have fallen into, order, into error because the filer laid a trap. And they got trapped in it. And we call it in 2018, 19, 20, they got caught up. Mm. And now the enemies got them. And they call mm. it their destiny. Their destiny. Mm. Their they call it their destiny. The devil is a lie. Yes. Freedom is coming for those that will hear the truth. It is your shield. It protects you from the, 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 the snare of the filer. I got to, and you got to understand this. It will protect you from the snare of the filer. Uh, the, uh, God is not sending you stuff to tear you down. Come on. God can't be tempted, neither does he tempt. Evil. You are Amen. tempted when you are taken of your own lust. You got to get this. Take responsibility. Now, I'm not preaching on the mountaintop and saying I have obtained. Come on. No, no. that's on. not what no. I'm saying. I'm saying grace yeah. is there for us yes. all. Oh, amen. Great yes. grace. When amen. we depend on it and we stop making excuses, God will give us the deliverance that we desire. And now it's time to be delivered because we are seeing things that are happening. The enemy is trying his best. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Oh, yes. yes. And all he wants is a repentant heart. Yes. Repentant. Repentance. Repentant. It, again, it's not something that is even really um, spoken of in this in this yes. era. It's yes. like, I don't have to go to God and ask him to forgive me because he knows. Yes. And he just does. Yes. But mm. he, he needs it. Just mm. like you need to hear, I'm sorry sometimes. Yes. God needs to hear, God, I'm sorry. Yes. Take me back. Take me Even back. though I'm here and I know you never left me yes. and I know we right here. But God, I didn't do it the way you told me to do. I'm sorry. Right. Amen. I want to honor you. That's, Amen. that's called honor. I want to I want to honor you. Yes. Go ahead, Pastor Joel. You say it said, delight yourselves in the Lord. Lord, he shall give you desire your heart. And I remember one of the words of in delight is effeminate. Mm. 
Yes. And in the feminine, <laughs> it tells you to be unmanly. Yes. For a woman and for a man. Yes. Be unmanly. Don't let your inner man take over you. And if you keep your eye on the Lord, we keep looking at people, though. Yes. Yes. And then we get off track because of people, because mm. this noise. Yes. Pestle, know some yeah. pestle. The fowler. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Yes. And he's working his he's great working work his right great now. Work right in the now. season. But there's there's freedom. We wanted to interject. There's freedom for those of you that are out there that are committed uh, over and over again and you thought that you had to commit over and over again. It's because you uh, we we don't take the time to really come into the presence of the Lord so that he can give us some stability and some resistance. The, the pestilence is diseased. And when your resistance is low, you become susceptible to diseases. And you only build your resistance when you come into the presence of the Lord. He can only, he's the only one that can build. If you're trying to go off your sense knowledge, you are in trouble. That's what the enemy wants. That's why it's such a battle between who's intellectually. And that's what the enemy wants. He'll take your intellect and turn you into, uh, intellect don't save you from the fire. It ain't no anointing. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. We, we're, we're, we're in a spiritual very deceptive moment and the only way we can overcome it says we wrestle not against what flesh and blood when you read the text it's trying to emphasize something you and your fleshly ability don't even supposed to be in this fight because we wrestle you're not wrestling but against principality that means that the only one qualified to deal with that is god himself Amen. that's why we say satan the the Lord, Lord rebuke, rebuke you. You, yes. You're spending too much time for you to get smart enough to outwit the devil. It won't happen. You have already been defeated. That's what he wants. Engage me with your intellect. <laughs> he been he been here walking up and down throughout the whole earth, too. Yes. He knows he this knows. better. He knows this better. So the, the day that I go from discerning to learning, I'm in trouble. And so we got to interject. We got to get this down. Let me let me jump back. Let me jump back because I, I need to be again for those of you. It says his truth. His truth shall be thou shield and buckler, meaning he want to protect you. But the the entryway into uh, uh, the place called protected is truth. Mm. And so if the enemy is is is, is having. The, the power to come in and out is because you avoid the truth. Now, teach. be very clear on yeah. that. Take responsibility. Now, Romans 5, Romans 5, uh, uh, verse 6 and 8. I want to I read that real quick because truth. Now, what is the truth? The truth is this. Here's what the truth is. And this is why he tried to take the truth and distort it. It says this. It says, for when we were yet without strength. Mm hmm. In due time, Christ died for the ungodly, meaning he wants the ungodly to know that he died for them. Amen. You. When we were our God. strength. He Amen. didn't do it because you were good enough for him to do it. Come on. He did it because he wanted you because there was purposes that he created me for. And the enemy came in and, and he he was able to deceive man. So he says, no, this is the purpose. I want to pull a man back to the purpose. And so he says, I sent my son to die when you were our strength. Now, the eighth verse says it like this. It says, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died. And so he does come to us as sinners. Mm -hmm. Right. And people say you don't hear a sinner's prayer. Yeah. Right. We, we got so many things that are wrong. Uh -huh. He does. He, he He's ready. He's ready. ready. But what the text says, uh, for the sinner in sin, he already commended his love to you. That's a confident phrase. He wants you to know he's ready when you get ready. Right. Uh -huh. But yeah. you're going to have to get rid of all the excuses. Now, 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 these two verses, I need you to know this. These two verses are vital because there are still those that believe that uh, the protection of God is only for the elite mm -hmm. or the ones that's been perfect. That's been an age old lie. That the perfect, we are a club, we are a special club, and that's the only place the people that got everybody else is going to just have to die because they're not a part of the least. But the scripture says, for the least of them. Mm -hmm. He's always interested in the least of them, the yeah. people that have lost their way, the people that don't know how. Yeah. He want to connect with you. This season is the season to connect. And perhaps you've been in for a long time and you didn't think you could fall, and now you, saw, you found yourself in a, a, a bad place. He says, I still want to reconnect with you. I just need you to know, come to me. Now, why is it important that I repent to God when he's already forgiven, when I was without strength? It's the same concept. So he makes a lot of illustration about a relationship between an uh, earthly father and myself. Mm -hmm. Now, when you, your child has did some things that you were not pleased with. Now, li listen to me, y'all. This is interesting. Uh, here's truth. Uh, um, <laughs> 
<laughs> just <laughs> just because God loves you dearly does not mean that He's not displeased with things. Amen. You got children that you love that you're displeased with. Even as the father corrects the son in whom he is delighted. Yes. You, y'all got to know this. because ble- That doesn't mean that he's pleased with everything. You're a child. He's not taking that away from you. We got, we got to know this because this is very tricky waters that we're in. Mm. We got to know. He wants us to come to him and say, Father, it's a sign of maturity. Mm-hmm. Just like your child. When your child does something wrong, they keep saying, I didn't, I don't know. It wasn't me. Your, my sister made me do Stop it. Stop praying <laughs> with me. And you're like, okay. If you would say to me, hey, hey, Dad, I had an accident. Amen. It's my fault. Amen. Then we can start correct. Okay, now, here's how you stop from making that mistake. It's a, it's a sign of maturity when I acknowledge that, yeah, I did do it. And that's the same thing with God. It's not a, 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 a kind of trying to convince him again if he should love you. You're just showing him now you're mature enough for me to give you my keys. Yes. You, you're always going to be a child. You got children that you won't dare give your keys to. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're 30. If you have not shown me the discipline and the that's obedience, right. Right. I can't give you the keys to my car. I'm just sorry. sorry. I would love to, but I just know you can't handle that. That's, that is what's happening in the life of believers. So now, it's not for the elite. This is for everybody. It's even for the, leap, uh, the least of them. Mm-hmm. Least of them. Now, verse number five. I'm going to read verse number five. Now, here's, here's, I'm moving fast. I'm moving first. Verse number five says this. Thou shalt not hear this. Hear this. I need to unpack this first. I need to unpack this first. It says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Here it is now. For the terror by night, nor for the error that flyeth by what? Day. 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 Now, I need, to, I need to look at this real real close and real clear. Now, notice what it says. Thou shalt not be afraid of terror by night mm-hmm. and error by day. So there's two uh, points right here, two points. It's called terror and error. Oh, right. <laughs> so I'll say it again. I'll say it. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night and by the error by day. Now, it says two points, terror and error. Now, let me give you a vivid picture of what this is trying to introduce. Terror by night is a picture, a metaphor. Mm-hmm. What's the metaphor? It's the terror that you imagine because things are so dark and you can't see. Illusion. It's an illusion. So he says, terror, the things that you have imagined, and then the literal error that comes in the day. So there is terror and error that is in the imagine, imagination, and then there's what is actually real. Yeah. And he says he's going to protect you from both. Yeah. What you have been imagining and what is actually real. Real. And so now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And so the terror by night, the things that we imagine because we don't have light and we can't see, we get scared and we react to these things. And as a consequence, what happens, we hurt ourselves. Mm. We do damage to ourselves and nothing is really after us. Mm. <laughs> we, we are beating ourselves up because of what we are imagining in our mind. Mm. We, we do most of our damage with things that are not actual. self inflicted they are not really there. Yeah. That's called terror by night. That, yeah. That's because of the lack of ignorance and what I don't know. And most of the time it's because of the things that I've suffered more than one time. Mm-hmm. Now I have mm-hmm. this mindset that it. here it mm-hmm. comes again yeah. Yeah. because all signs are showing me that it's coming again. And so I take out running. <laughs> And I, before I know it, I'm not paying attention. I done ran. I done hit my days, knee. 40 days, 40 nights. <laughs> Listen, I can't tell you how many times as a little boy. I cannot tell you how many times a little boy, I got a a, a knot on my knee. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because I was I had to shut the lights off at church. <laughs> and they told me demons was in there. <laughs> and when I shut that light off, you got that, go. that old church creaked. <laughs> And when you got the light off, you can't see. Every now, I, now, now, I, I know how the the benches are set in the right, church. Right. But when you get terror, terror. you lose your direction yeah. and you take off. And the first thing you do is hit your knee on the, <coughs> the yeah. corner of that bench. Mm-hmm. And now you limping all the way to that door. And nothing is there. Now you look can really back, get you. you. all the lights on. <laughs> And you discover, I got to limp at school tomorrow and the next three days because there was some terror by night. Yeah. Something that I, I imagined yeah. in my mind my that God. was not really there. I haven't mm. even gotten to the arrow. Mm. Mm. 
because, because of I'm terror. so messed brother. up by the terror. <laughs> I'm so I'm so Terror's brother. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so messed up. So this is why now watch it make sense. Watch it make sense. Second Corinthians ten verse five. Let me read that to you because there was terror that caused us to really create the havoc in our lives that was not really there. Mm-hmm. So that's why Second Corinthians ten five says casting down what. Imagination. That's his greatest mm-hmm. gift. Yes. To make you imagine that yeah. this time is going to be like the last time. It's called terror by night. Mm. One thing after the, after the uh, other. If he can get you to say that, it's going to be one, one thing, thing after, the, after other. the other. That's the terror of un, of the unknown. And he does his best work. So Second Corinthians 5, 10 verse 5 says, Casting down imagination or every high thing mm-hmm. that exalted itself against what? The knowledge. Truth. Now, now here we are back to truth. That is your shield and your buckler. buckler. Once you have terror in your life, you lose truth. Now the shield has just dropped, and you took off yourself the armor because this is stopping me. I can't run with this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't work with this. This Too is heavy. weighing me down because my, my mind is telling me that something is after me. Come on now, no, no. Watch this. Second Timothy one seven says, "For God." Hath not given us the spirit, given us the spirit of mm-hmm. fear, but of love, but of power and love, and of a what sound mind. sound mind that terror by night that's caused your mind to be unsound. You haven't gotten to the error. You're still dealing with the terror. Now stay mm-hmm. with me. Now stay with me. That's why the so First Peter five eight says what? Be sober. You got to think right. Because mm-hmm. if you're not sober. You if you're not if you're not sober, you can't be vigilant. Because vigilance comes from being sober, Amen. thinking properly. Because now, if you're not sober, you got imagination. You are seeing things that are not there. Mm. Yeah, and it's coming from everywhere because now it's your mind yes. that is causing the terror. It's not even the error, people. It's the, it's terror, the terror by night. It's the unseen things. What could happen? Mm. Yeah. What might happen as a consequence? I've seen this happen. I got to run so I can get a head start because I know how this happens. I don't, oh my God. See, when that thing happens and then after that, this thing happens and then after this, this thing, yeah. it's next. It's yeah. going to be on my house. Mm. This is the very reason in Second Kings 18, I'm reminded of Hezekiah making a deal with the Assyrian army mm. because he watched the fence city come down. Now, the, at this time, the kingdom has been broken into two pieces, two parts. You got northern and southern. Now, you got two in the two two uh, kingdoms in southern and, and and ten in the northern, right? Now, when you see Israel, who is the strong ten, and you got you got Judah too. Watch this. If the ten has fallen, what do the two think they got? Oh, what? <laughs> right. Right. What is the two? What hope? If the big brother right. doesn't fall into this, what hope? And so now here's Hezekiah watching the big brother fall. He done already seen. Boom. They fall it. Now, at this point, he's forgotten about the word called truth. Mm-hmm. Now he sees the terror by night. He's imagining. Mm-hmm. So if they gone down, I'm gone down. And so he's no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it's coming. it's coming. And so the enemy comes in because truth is gone, comes to the fence, fence city. So what does, he, what does he do? He tears down the shield. Mm-hmm. And so when the shield is falling, I know now he's coming. My buckler ain't gonna work for hey, me. This is just an invasion. This is just man. gonna cause me not to be able yeah. to get away from it. And so now his impulse is this: as we always get into, what is the impulse? Let's make a deal. Mm. So he starts making a ta- starts telling the enemy, "I give you what you want. Mm. What have I done today? Mm. Uh, what do you want?" The enemies, the filer, watch this, the filer starts sending gifts because you're sick. Mm. I'm a master trapper. Mm. You sick? Let me show some concern. Mm. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day and you're lonely. <laughs> I'll be right over. Yeah. Watch this now. He knows when it's, it's sickness. Yeah. And so watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. So he sends uh, Hezekiah a letter saying, I know you've been sick. And uh I, I just got so much. You got the pestilence in your life. <laughs> Let me come over and take care of you. And so as a consequence, watch this, watch this. He takes the enemy in chambers of his house mm. where he keeps his most valued possession. How many times have you let the enemy come into your place and where he takes your most valuable possessions? You showed it to him. 
You showed it to him. Mm. Here it is. You're so nice to me. Let me show you the place to my heart. Mm. Let me give you the secret code to my mm. heart. Let me give you what you want. Let me get. And so as a consequence, here's the Hezekiah making a deal because he don't understand. I'm fearful. Mm. The terror has come. They killed. So they can't. Who am I to think that I can't? I can stand against this. Yeah. And so we're watching people fall, and we think it's automatic, in, imminent, that my time's coming. The Lord says to you, for those of you that are listening to me, he says, if you follow my word, I don't care how small you are. You are not protected because of your size. Mm. You're protected because of my word. Amen. If you can stay focused on my word, the fowler can't come in with the terror by night. And so as a consequence, he lets them into his house, and he shows them. And so, and so here comes the prophet Isaiah. He comes in. He says, let me ask you something. He said, what did you? I see the enemy coming in and out of your house. Okay. Listen to what he said. <laughs> I see the enemy that. walking in and out of your house without any apprehension. He's oh got God. free cause. As a matter of fact, I see the key to your house around his neck. Uh, mm. How did he get the key to your house? Mm. And because he, called, he, he, he said, you're lonely on Valentine's Day, and he yeah, told me I'll come truth. anytime yeah. you need me. Yeah. I'm here for you. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I can't, I can't <laughs> believe my friend was not here for me. And so he got the key to the house. Now watch this. Watch what, the, watch what he said. Uh, the prophet, the word of the Lord. Now we're going to see Isaiah as the prophetic word of truth coming to, to Hezekiah. He says, he says, what did you show him? He said, I showed him everything. He says, everything that you showed him is going to go into captivity. Mm. He's going to have access to everything that you exposed to him in your vulnerable time. Because you've seen, you seen something happen and you thought you were a victim because you're saying, he says, everything, watch it, watch it. Everything that you've shown him, this is, this is the 21st chapter of mm. uh, 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 Second Kings. Now watch this, everything. Now watch this. He says, even your sons mm -hmm. are going to be in captivity My in God. Nebuchadnezzar, and they're going to be eunuchs. Mm. We go all the way over to Daniel, chapter 2. Here it is, Daniel, who is of the king's seed. He told him the king's mm. seed is going to go to captivity. Here it is, Daniel, because of the faultiness of his ancestor. Now he's in the house of the eunuch, wow. <laughs> just mm. as prophecy, because the fowler came in. The 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 father came in and he had terror. He made your imagination. You just you just knew that God, this is gonna be trouble for me. This is gonna be trouble for me. I can't. Well, well, well let, let, let me move on because I, 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 the seventh verse says this. Here's what seventh verse. It says it says a thousand shall fall at thy side. Uh -huh. Ten thousand. Now, look at that. Look at that. Watch this. A thousand shall what fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. But Shall not it shall not come uh, near. Now listen to this. I, I need you to look at this because we that's that's powerful. Just reading the text a minute long, but let me unpack it. Mm -hmm. So a thousand at thy side, mm -hmm. ten thousand what at thy right hand, right hand. So now here's a picture of something. Here's a picture. It 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 shows you how close the destruction will be. Mm, now okay. now if it says thousand at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, it's telling you that you can see it. You feel it breathing. Mm. You can feel the breathing in because it's right inside 10,000 at your right hand. So it want to get, the Bible trying to give you a vivid picture of how close the enemy can be, Hezekiah. Mm. But I didn't tell you that just because he was close, he could. <laughs> right. That's why. I'm just because you can see him, yes. no weapon. Form. You are supposed to see a thousand at your side. It's supposed to be right here. You're, yeah. supposed, to, you're supposed to see it. What's that touching me? We yes, know Lord. it. There. That's destruction. Yeah. What is this over here? It's even bigger over on this. And so it says it, it gives us a vivid picture of how close destruction can be. Chaos, devastation. It says it's right here. I want you to know at your side, right here, right. But here's what it really means. Here's what it means. It says it can be near physically, but far from affecting you. <laughs> <laughs> it's near physically, but it's far from affecting you. He says you got to know this. You got to only, only. Only with your eyes. Will only you with see? your eyes. Only with your eyes. The eight reward. verses. Only with your eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Of the wicked. Who's the wicked people? Mm -hmm. The people that avoid the truth. Yes. Mm. Because you don't know how to govern your ways because you never had truth. Mm. Now, you can have people in church that are wicked because they don't know truth. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, 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 now. Watch this. Watch this. The other night, y'all yeah, remember the other night I was teaching in Bible study. And Jesus says in Matthew 13, he says, such is the kingdom of heaven. 
Hear that. Here's what it looks like. A man sowing seed. Now, he says the kingdom have a man sowing seed, and he goes to sleep, and an enemy comes in and sow. Now, now notice what he just said. Notice yeah, what he said. He right. said, this is what the kingdom looks like. Yeah. He didn't say outside of the kingdom because right. he's warning us. Yes. My people, watch this, watch this, Isaiah 513, my people are gone oh. into captivity. Uh-huh. My people, watch the, the mantra, my people. Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed. Mm-hmm. Now, here's Jesus, Matthew 13. He says, here's what the kingdom looks like. It's like one sowing good seed, and when he wakes up, there's bad seed. This happens in kingdom? Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. Read it, it. Amen. <laughs> he wants Amen. you to know, because he says, at your side, if you're in kingdom, then the side piece is going to be in kingdom. He right. wants you to be aware that this mistruth you is happening right here. Yeah. You're going to come against some things in mistruth. It's going to be the problem in the fight of your life. You coming into this place called called uh, uh, untruth, mm. mistruth, wow. right here. He says this filer, this filer is there. He's coming in places. I know he can't come up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Oh, in yeah. came the sons of God, and in came Satan too before the throne. Right there. <laughs> hey, he's, he's we got requiring. To, we got to be aware of this filer, this season. The Lord wants to highlight the filer. Yeah, He's not going to take him away. But that's why the Bible said too, be not afraid of sudden fear when they come. <laughs> yes. They not, because we, we know that they're going to be right here. I'm going to see it, but I won't feel it. It'll be close physically. But far from the effects yeah. that it have on my life when I have the truth of God in my space. Amen. We've got to understand that this is the season of truth. This is available for everybody. Everybody's going to have to do a recount, a reconnect. The whole body. The whole body is going to have to look again because Jesus says this happens in kingdom. Mm. More often than not because he says when men sleep, sleep. Mm-hmm. or listen. We have gone to sleep. Yeah, crept in on us. He came in and yeah. sowed this mm-hmm. bad seed. You you sowed good seed when you were asleep, when you were not paying attention. Be sober, be vigilant. When you were asleep, here come an enemy soul. Now, here it is, the servants that are accustomed to harvest, right? Look at that. And when the servants say, I thought you sowed good seed, he says, I did. He says, well, how is it that you have these bad seeds? Mm-hmm. We we recognize it. And so he says, he says, he's, the servant said, let us go pull it up. He says, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, that's interesting, right? Uh-huh. That's interesting because the servants are accustomed to pulling up the seed, yeah. the bad seeds, yeah. right? But he's telling the people that are accustomed to pulling up the bad seed that you, this is so tricky that you that are accustomed to yeah. pulling up will actually pull up the good. You was a professional. Because this is a different time and season. Yeah. The filer has a different level of trap. And so here's the, here's the punchline and the catch line and the bless line is that it will be separated at harvest. At harvest. So now, again, for those of you that see in the separation, don't fear. Yeah. Say it's harvest time. Yeah. Harvest time. Yeah. God when things it. start burning. Yeah. Yes. Amen. It's harvest time. Yeah. When it start burning, when things start burning in your life, Amen. that's a sign that is Harvest time. Harvest when time. people start falling off, there's a separation. It's harvest time. <laughs> Many of you have been in harvest season. You couldn't even recognize it. Let's pray together on this Valentine's Day. Father, we thank you so much for being a God that loves us enough to alert us and give us insight on what the filer, the enemy, is trying to bring into our life to wreak havoc in our lives, to make our good seeds be covered and choked out by bad seeds. We are aware of the season because of the word of truth. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let this be the beginning of new lives. Yes. Because of that truth. Let this be the beginning of a new season because of truth, because it is harvest season. Let us recognize that these things are falling off, being burned off, because it's time for me to enjoy the harvest of my life. We thank you so much. We thank you so much. We thank you so much. Blessings and blessings upon blessings upon blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed by the blessed. Network of Believers, 1111 West 7th Street, downtown Little Rock, Arkansas, this Sunday, 9 a.m. I'm preaching and teaching a message called Supernatural DNA. Mm. Be there. <laughs> you don't want to miss this. Be there. D- supernatural D. It's in you. Hey, I need to explain this because we're walking into a supernatural season. Mm. Supernatural season. You can have something naive and never even engage it. And so we're going to teach on that. Blessings 
on blessings, on blessings, on blessings, on blessings. Thank you, Radio. Thank you so much. Blessing. So, for those of you who want to support this, please, Cash App, NOBC. We need your help to continue. NOBC, Cash App, NOBC, please. Thank you so much. Blessings. All right, Facebook. Blessings on blessings. Listen to me, Sunday morning, 9 a.m., I want to see your face in the place. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this. There are so many of you that are jumping out of something right now, and God is going to assist you to get out. Please hear me. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Please don't be foolish. How are you, how you saying that? Why are you saying that, Pastor G? This is why I'm saying this. For those of you that are about to walk in major manifestation in a new season, the enemy is throwing everything that he can throw at you right now. He's showing you all the signs of destruction for other people. Don't be like Hezekiah. Don't give up everything because he's showing you signs Man. of people that have been defeated. Mm -hmm. Don't let that be your story. Don't let that be your story. The, 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 the trial and the tribulation is an indication that God is trying to move you into it. Stay consistent. Stay yeah. consistent. Stay consistent. I, Pastor G, Lady T, right now, Pastor Joel, in this season, we are coming against strong, Amen. strong, strong. Hear me, strong. But we will not relent because we know it's our time to go in. Amen. Blessings to you, Facebook. Share, 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 share. Go share this with friends. Share it. A few minutes after this, I will have this on my YouTube page. Go and subscribe to me. Pastor G at Network of Believers. Thank you. Holla.